Hi everyone. Welcome back to Prakasham Tutorials. In this video, I am going to discuss about concept of data types in Python. Every value in Python has a data type. Since everything is an object in Python programming, data types are actually classes and variables are instance or object of these classes. The standard data types are the standard data types are numeric data type, dictionary data type, boolean data type, set data type, and sequency data type. So numeric data types is further divided into integer, complex number, float number, and sequence data type is further divided into string data type, list data type, and tuple data type. The type function is used to determine the type of the data type. So the syntax of the type function is type of object. So now here the object can be a variable or can be any of the data structure or can be any array or can be of anything. So that, uh, this is the syntax of the data type. So now here uh, separately I am going to discuss about numeric data type, uh, sequence data type, dictionary data type, boolean data type and set data type. And first one is numeric data type. And what is the numeric data type? In Python, numeric data type represents the data which has numeric value. Numeric value can be integer, floating number or even complex numbers. So these values, integer values are defined as int class, float class and complex class in Python. And first one is integer. The integer value is represented by the int class. The integer contains, it contains posit, uh, positive, uh, positive number or negative number. Suppose for example, the variable a is equal to 6. And the type of this variable is using type function. Type of a is a is equal to 6 is the integer number. And the type of integer is int class. And the second type of the numeric data type is float number. The float value is represented by the float class. It is a real number with floating point representation. It is specified by a decimal, decimal point. For example, the variable b is equal to 5.0 or 5.2. So the type of this variable b is determined using type function. Type of the variable b and it displays Python console from it displays float class. And third type of the numerical data type is complex number. The complex number is represented by complex class. It is specified as real part plus imaginary part. So the complex number uh, can, be, can be created, can be represented in two ways. One way is using syntax complex of 3 comma 5. So now here the 3 is the real part and 5 is the imaginary part and press the enter key. In the console prompt it displays 3 plus 5j. And another way is take the variable. Take the variable c is equal to minus 3 plus 6j. And the type of variable c is using type function. The type of variable C is equal to, it is a complex type. Suppose for example, identify or checking the data type of an object. For example, consider employee underscore name is equal to 
right Hashem is is equal to 38 height is equal to 5.7 okay the type of these variables are determined using type function type of employee emp underscore name is it is a string data type type of is is integer data type this is the int class type of variable height is it is a float class So that is the uh, uh, that are different types of numeric data types integer floating and complex number and another type of the data type is sequence data type a sequence is an ordered collection of similar data types or different data types the different types of sequence data types are string data type list data type and tuple data type the first we are going to discuss about string data type what is a string a string value is a collection of one or more characteristics put in a single quotation double quotation or triple quotation suppose for example the string data type str1 is equal to str1 is equal it is created by single quotation Welcome to Recursion Tutorials. Close the single quotation. str2 is equal to and it is created by double quotation. Inside Prakasham tutorials various EC subjects explained clearly and close the double quotation and take another variable str3 is equal and it is created by triple quotation triple quotation prakasham tutorial prakasham tutorials youtube channel is a learning platform and close the triple quotation so now find out the type of the objects using type function so type of str1 is it is a string data type and similarly find out the type of str2 type of str3 so using type function type of str2 it is also string data type type of str3 it is also string data type so the string value is created by one or more characters put in single quotation double quotation or triple quotation so that is the string and next data type is and next data type is list data type a list object is an ordered collection of one or more data items not necessarily of same type so this list data type is put in square brackets suppose for example list is equal to inside the square bracket 
consider the elements 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma inside the single quotation or the double quotation create the string ptsp comma python comma ss and close the square bracket the elements are separated by uh, uh, inside the square brackets elements are uh, elements or values are separated by commas press the enter key first find out the type of the object using type function type of list variable type of list variable is equal to it is a list data type and next another data type of the sequence is tuple data type a tuple object is an ordered collection of one or more data types, data items, not necessarily of the same data type. And the tuple data type or the tuple object is put in parentheses. Suppose, for example, tuple is equal to inside the parentheses, consider the values 1, 2, 3, comma ss comma ptsp comma python and close the parentheses so find out the type of the tuple function type of the tuple using type function type of tuple is equal to it is a tuple class And another data type is dictionary data type. A dictionary object is an unordered collection of data in a key value pair form. A collection of such pairs is enclosed in curly braces. Suppose, for example, create the dictionary. Dict is equal to inside the inside the clover brackets key value pairs. So one colon ss comma 2 colon ptsp comma 3 colon python and close the flower brackets now here 1 2 3 are the keys ss ptsp and python are the values and this is the key value pair form and find out the type of the class using type function type of dict is dict and press the enter key it is a dictionary class and next one is boolean data type and uh, set data type and the first one is uh, uh, and next one is boolean data type so the boolean data type provides two built in values that are true value and false value these values are used to determine the given statement true or false. It denotes by a class bool. The boolean data type denotes by the class bool. Suppose for example, type of true. True is the boolean value using the type function. Type of true. Press the enter key. Sorry. Now we are the spelling mistake. Type of PRPV2 press the enter key. It is a Boolean class. Bool class. Bool mean Boolean class. And similarly, type of false FALSC press the enter key. It is also Boolean class. And next data type is Python data type is set data type. Python set is an unordered collection of the data types. It is iter iterable, mutable. So mutable mean can modify after the creation and has unique elements. The set elements are created by the inside the clover brackets. Suppose for example, set is equal inside the clover brackets, create the elements. So one comma two comma three comma 
एस एस कामा पी टी एस पी कामा पाइथान कामा फोर कामा फाइव कामा सिक्स क्लोज दवर ब्रैकेट सो फाइंड आउट द टाइप ऑफ द क्लास यूजिंग द टाइप फंक्शन टाइप ऑफ सेट प्रेस द एंटर की इट इज द सेट क्लास सो दीज आर द different types of data types standard data types in python